Okay, guys, so I would assume that most of you read the email or saw the update or whatever. That the AP test is down to one question, and it's one DBQ, right? So good news, it's a DBQ, so you don't have to worry about knowing a whole lot of outside information necessarily. You're going to need to know some to do well, um, but it's not going to be like all those multiple choice questions or short answer questions, etc. It's going to be one of those, can you use the documents in front of you? Bad news, it's one DBQ. So if you screw it up, you're done. So they made some changes too, okay? Here was the previous rubric, okay? The seven point rubric. This is the very same rubric that we've used previously, okay? As you can see, one point for a thesis, one point for context. For evidence, they had three points. Um, this is where they've made a little change. And analysis and reasoning is where they've also made another change. This is the change though that I think you guys will like um, more so than um, any other change as we shall see here in a moment okay so this is out the window it's no longer a seven pointer it's a ten pointer in here is what they have done thesis is still what it was nothing changed there okay it is the exact same thing so is context neither one of these has changed thesis and context point are the same okay um, remember context not awarded for merely a phrase. Again, I need several sentences. I need like a, a paragraph of setting the stage. All right, but anyhow, back to the changes in evidence, okay? They took evidence from three points and made it five points, okay? Now, they have shrunk the DBQ from seven documents down to five, okay? You get one point for using two of the documents now when i say that it, it's here you go right describe and don't quote we've been through this but i'm going to reiterate stop quoting don't quote there's no need to quote okay just don't do it because what you're going to do is you're going to get in a bad habit of quoting which doesn't work okay you need to describe what's going on all right that's how you get one point. Now, if you want to get another point, okay, and this is a change, all right, highlighted, all right, this is a change. Supports an argument in response to the prompt using two documents, okay? Um, now, to earn this, all right, you must describe the content from two documents and use it to support. So what they're saying is you get one point if you tell me that you actually understand the documents. You get another point if you actually tie them to your thesis, if you use them, okay? So on the old rubric, all right, on the older one, um, and I really should have that one in, uh, pulled up, hang on. All right, on the one rubric that I've been using the grade stuff before in your all's class, right, this one? All right, you've got this column here, right? This middle section where I do the evidence and I do the check marks and all. Okay, describe, as in, can you tell me what this document says? Supports is the thing where you actually use it to make your argument. Explains is the point of view thing we're going to talk about here in a moment, right? So going back to the new rubric, okay? All right, you get one point if you can. Just tell me what two of the documents are, right? Okay, so can you can you tell me what two of the documents are, right? All right, now, supports. Can you use it in your argument, right? Do you use two documents appropriately to back things up? And, and one of the reasons I wanted to bounce back and forth. Basically, you have to do the first one to get the second one, right? It even says here meet and exceed right so long story short the only way you're ever going to get the second point is you got to get the first point right for those documents okay don't think like well i, I supported without describing that's not possible all right so you're going to use two you're going to describe two documents then use them in your essay now if you would like to get more points use 
four of the documents. Let's be honest, guys. It's a five document DBQ. Use all five documents. Try. Okay? Try. So if you support an argument using four documents, all right, there you go. So you get all three of these points. Now, an additional outside piece of information, okay? Beyond that, found in the documents. That's nothing new. We've had that previously, okay? Additional outside information, right? Okay, we've had this before. And again, more than a phrase or a reference. More than a phrase or a reference. Don't just name drop. You've got to make, you've got to show you know it, okay? And they'll give you another point for another outside piece of evidence. This is a gift, okay? This new rubric could not be better for you, to be honest, okay? They're giving you an extra point if you pull out another piece of specific evidence. Again, specific. Don't give me a phrase either, a reference, like specific discussion of. Okay, down here. All right. This is another godsend. You only have to give point of view for one document. On the old one, this is the thing you guys struggled with a whole bunch, which is the how or why, the point of view or purpose or situation or audience is relevant, right? Where you really have to analyze, like, why did this person write this or what might be their ulterior motive or why should we not trust them or how is this biased or whatever like that, okay? You only have to do it for one document to get a point. And if you do it for a second document, you get both the points. And then this last point is the complex understanding point that we've had the entire time. Right? The complex point where the nuance or variable or what. Yeah, okay. My point is, and I've said the word point way too many times and I apologize. All right? It's the same DBQ. It's smaller. And the new rubric, rubric, excuse me, benefits you. Thesis. Make a statement. Put it the, at the end of, intro, of your introduction, right? We've been through this. Introduction. Set the stage. Context, right? Context. Talk about the world you're about to talk about, okay? Drop some information, all right? Now, be careful trying to squeeze in at that first part your outside information because you are supposed to use outside information okay relevant to the argument they're not just asking you to paint pretty pictures they're asking you to use the outside information to benefit your argument so don't try and squeeze a bunch of outside information up here and they get mad when they don't give you credit you can't use it in an argument when you haven't started the argument okay paint a picture Get a point, right? At the end of your picture, make a statement, okay? And now start using the documents. Tell me what is in four of the documents, okay? Preferably all five, four minimum, right? So tell, me, tell me what the document is. Tell me what it says. Tell me what it's about, right? Now, then you need to start using the documents to support your argument, your statement, all right? You need to do it on at least two. There's no reason that you guys should not get these two points. There's no reason. These four points right here are cake. Okay? Can you make an argument? Can you tell me anything about the time period you're about to write about? Like, were you conscious at all this year? And then can you show me that you can read and interpret two documents? Right there, four points. You should honestly be able to get this one. Right? Because we've, we've been doing essays where I've expected you to do it on six. Right? Now you only get it on four. Evidence, outside evidence. You've been, you've been asked to do this, right? All they did was do it a second time. That is so easy because you guys are usually getting this point. This is one of the easier points to get. They're offering you a, a bonus one to get. And then down here, the point that you all have struggled with the most, honestly, in my opinion, which is, again, analyzing the position, the point of view, the bias, the purpose, however you want to term it. If you do it just once, you get a point. If you do it a second time, you get another point. And then there's the, of course, the more complex, nuanced, understanding point. But, I mean, really, guys, it's a 10-point scale. And what they did is they, they weakened the demands of document use. And they broadened the points given for outside info. Okay? I mean, this is not a bad deal. 
I know everybody's probably like one question, do or die, that that is not a good deal. But they did change the scoring to where I think it actually benefits students. Um, so I just wanted to go through that to try and give you my boiled down interpretation of some of the stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of DBQs. I'm sorry. If you don't like them, tough. Um, I didn't, nobody called me on, on what we were going to do. Um, but I figured I would at least kind of run through it. If you have questions, feel free to email. Um, you know, we're going to have to get this down, all right, because this is going to determine your fate. 